G'day and welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Histology with Jamie Chapman. Today we're going to have a look at a finer detail of the structure of the kidney. This is the kidney here. Um, here's the renal papilla. This is a part of the renal medulla. And then what we're going to be focusing on in this video is the renal cortex, which is this region on the outside and having a look at the fine detail there. So let's start our three minutes. So as I just mentioned, um, out here we've got the uh, renal medulla, which ends in the renal papilla, which is that projection here, which is drained by the minor calyx. So the blood is filtered within the cortex. Uh, anything that's not reabsorbed remains behind, eventually forms our urine, is percolated through the collecting ducts and eventually drips down into and is collected by the minor calyx. But what we're going to be focusing on is the cortex, the cortical tissue here. And we can see, just even at this low magnification, the cortex is divided into sort of bands. We've got these stripy regions um, within the cortex, and these are referred to as the medullary rays. So it's kind of like extensions of the medullary tissue that project out into the cortex, like little fingers, I suppose, uh, projecting out, pointing towards the edge of the uh, the kidney here. And then in between the medullary rays is cortical tissue referred to as cortical labyrinths because uh, it's complex folds of predominantly um, proximal convoluted tubules but also distal convoluted tubules and then interspersed between those we have the renal corpuscles which are these round structures. So the the cortex then, the renal cortex is divided into medullary rays and cortical labyrinths. Um, we can actually subdivide the uh, kidney into lobules. So we talked about the lobe being the renal pyramid and the overlying cap of cortical tissue. Well, a renal lobule is actually more, not an anatomical division, but more of a functional division. And a renal lobule consists of a medullary ray and half of a cortical labyrinth on either side. So basically what it means is all of the uh, nephrons which exist within the half of cortical labyrinth on either side of the uh, medullary ray drain into the collecting ducts which are found within that medullary ray because the medullary ray consists of collecting ducts and the loops of Henle. You can see some collecting ducts here. So all of the nephrons here would eventually drain into this region here, whereas the nephrons here would drain into the other medullary ray. If we have a look in a little bit more finer detail, we've got the renal corpuscles here, we can see these, and then all of here are the renal tubules made up largely of uh, proximal convoluted tubules and then also some distal convoluted tubules. And we can tell the difference between them largely because the distal convoluted tubules aren't as tall as the proximal convoluted tubules and also the proximal convoluted tubules have very well developed brush border microvilla surface, whereas the, uh, the distal convoluted tubules don't have that. So they tend to have a much clearer lumen. Now interspersed in between them are uh, peritubular capillaries, and um, those are the major sort of take-home low mag features of the cortical tissue. I hope you found that useful.